Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the emitting of the event, component events. So now we have seen from parent to child sending the data using the props, also the prop validations and all those things also completed. Now, for example, if a child want to communicate with the parent, then what we can do? We already have seen the different scenario, like we will be sending the method, the parent method as a props there and the child method will be calling that one. But that is not the recommended way in the future. If you want to do the communication from child to parent means it's better to emit an event and listen to that event in the parent. So how we can emit a custom event and listen to the A component can emit a custom events directly in the template expression. Example, so, so using an, uh, something like VIFN on handler. And this emitting is done by the built-in dollar emit method. That is the main thing. The parent can then listen to it using the VF and on directive. Or otherwise we can use a simple, simple shorthand at the rate. So that is the main thing. Like components and props, event names also provide an automatic case transformation. Uh, what I can say is that uh, camel case and all those things. So you can call the event name with the camel case and you can use it in the template kebab case. Thing. So we recommend using the kebab case event, event list in the templates. So now let's try to see how we can do it. So instead of taking these all things, I will take a simple example. I am taking post.u, this is the component, and here we will be having a template. Okay. Let's go to the script setup, and here I am having a post data, which is of right ref. Take reactive also, it's not a problem. It's an array, id1, and a title will be post1 or something. And here I am having another one post two, and another one is post three. It also will be having post three, ID three, and ID two. These are the posts. Now I want to loop over these all the posts. Here I can take the post else We'll be having it like this. And here we'll be having a single post. Let's have a single which we have already this component. And let's import this single post. Import single post from here we need to import till post dot view the single no need to import that one as in the options a no need to declare single post automatically display. let's loop over the single post one by one if one for post in post and we need to pass the post detail as a props and we need to have a key also post dot id which is the unique one so this is a single post now let's go to the single post here this is our single post i am deleting this all the code so which is not necessary we have did it for the props concept i am deleting this all the codes all the details now this is our single post now what we will be getting here we are getting as a props what is the props we are getting constant props is equal to define props and it is something like a post first one is the post post which is of type object and we should make it as a required true So this is the thing now here template here we are need to show the post details here i will be showing you id is equal to post dot id okay the due and another one i want to show is the post dot title the detail dot title i am showing this all the details now here this is the title right title now we got it props and all those things we are showing it and this is the post we are showing the post let's go to the app.view i will try to remove these all the things right now i don't want to keep i will keep it as a comment now here we will be having single post so i want to show the post and let's import this post also put post from let's have this component slash post that's it so we are showing the post and in this post we are having the array of posts and we are again calling the component so fine so this is the basic layout structure go to here if i refresh this page hopefully we should get the post ref is not defined case forget to ref not the ref go to the output and here we are able to see the output post details id title like this we are able to see these are the three post details we are having Let's have a HR line so that have a 
ID title, ID title, this is the thing we are having. Fine. Now let's add edit button here. Okay. I will be adding edit button here. If I click on this edit, it should change the title. Okay. So that uh, adding in text box and all the things I'm not doing. So what we are doing, this edit button will be in the child component. And when I click on this edit, this all post details are on the pa parent components. All post details are on the parent component, which is here. And if I click on a particular ID of two, so this detail should be updated. Whereas this one, the button will be in the child component. So that means here I will be having new uh, button, button edit post or something. We have a button. Now if I click on this button, if I click on this button, so this post title should be updated to updated post is updated. Like that we need to change the title. So that means what I need to do. So at the red click start prevent if you do. Right? Here I need to change it. So but here we, we can't change the props. As we know that props are read only. So these props are coming from the parent component. So that means I need to update. I need to send an notification to the parent component that you please update a particular post that ID. So how we can do it that one by using the events, custom events. So I will raise an event here so that this event will be captured in the parent component here in the component. And here we can write a method in such a way that that method will update the post. So what I can do here, I will limit the event. So here for emitting the event, what we can use is dollar emit. Okay, dollar emit. So I am using a custom event. So what I can say is edit post. So this is the custom event I am passing. And we need to pass the post ID. So I am passing the post ID as a argument. Here, this is the method we are firing. And this edit post is the event name. So how we can capture that event is and how we can do it is. So here we need to write at the rate edit post. So here we can write edit hyphen post like this. So this is the cow up case what I have told you. So edit post, I will be doing update post. Here we are having a method update post. And we don't mean uh, there is no need to mention the argument like this. So automatically the arguments will be carried forward constant update post is equal to so we know that we will be getting the post id here and we need to update the details so what i can do so let's make it as a let here and what i will write is so here post dot value is equal to so that is a ref right in the post dot value will be here so post dot value dot map so here what i can do is if post dot id is equal to is equal to post id so if matching means then we will return return the post and the title will be something like post is updated or something okay. or otherwise return just post that's it so this is the thing which i am trying to do what is happening here in the single post i am giving the event post when this button is clicked it will carry the post ID to tell to the update post and this method will be invoked and here we got the post ID and we are checking that if the post ID is matching then I am updating the title some other title and remaining all post I am taking now if I try to see here page I click on the edit post see it has been updated only this post is updated if I click on this one this is updated if I click on this one this is updated so this is how we can inform the parent component from the child component using the uh, using the using the dollar emit method this is a global method which is available now for example let's say that if you want to call so here you will be having a and you want to call through the javascript so that one also we can do it we'll try to see it in the next video also event validations also we can write it we'll try to see it in the next video so this is how the basic event communication works from child to parent from parent to child, it is a props. From child to parent, it is a custom event. Hope you understood about this one. Have any doubts or any suggestions? Please post the comments below. This video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.